Hi everyone, this is Kirsten from Forever in High School. I got an overwhelming response to my recent post about creating my own Google Classroom banners. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that today. I am using Google Slides. I know some teachers use Canva. I'm not really sure how to use Canva, so I always use Slides. It's like my best friend. I always use it for everything and that's no different for this. The first thing you have to do to create your own banner is go to file and you have to change the page setup. So you're going to click on pixels, very important. Please remember to click on pixels, otherwise it'll appear not in the right way. And make sure that you customize it to 800 by 200 pixels, click apply, and it'll show up like so this is the proper size i use three different banners for my three different periods just to make it a little bit cleaner and easy on the eyes for myself so i know my period one has like this leafy border and it's green and then my period two has this pineapple orange border and then my period three has this purple and pink um, aesthetic here. So I'm a really simple kind of person so I just added some images. Kind of lazy but it looks fine to me. You can tell that it's not a border that's connected. <laughs> They're just images stuck together. I don't mind this but if you do I would prefer finding your own border that is the length of this banner. I created this border by just clicking on insert an image search the web and it takes you to this search for images section and it's really really simple you know whatever you want to do so if i wanted to have a border of i don't know pencils clip art border maybe i'll find something click this one I can adjust this image however I want to, so I'm just going to delete all these. So I want to make it smaller, so it creates a nice border. And you can do this with any image you want. I just chose pencils because that was the first thing that came into my mind. Obviously it's not straight because I'm just showing you a tutorial on how to make a border. But don't worry, you can just adjust accordingly. And then I always use word art. If you've watched my previous videos, you know that I don't use text boxes. I use word art so you can do that to create your own headings. Like in this case, I put my name and then I put the type of class. Note, I always put the headers on the bottom right corner because when you set up Google Classroom, the bottom left doesn't really show. So just something to think about when you're making one of these. Say you have your banner and you have your header and you're all ready to go. So what you gotta do is go to file and click on download and make sure that you download as JPEG. I made this mistake before. I downloaded a lot of my banners as PNG because that's usually the best image, the cleanest image to have when you download from Google Slides. But I realized when I downloaded PNG, it came out a little funky. So don't click on PNG, click on JPEG image and it'll download right here for you. So what you're going to do now is head over to Google Classroom. So here I am in my fake Google Classroom class that I'm making for this tutorial. I do not like this banner. That is the default for this class. So I'm going to click on upload photo and it asks you to drag a photo. All you got to do is drag the downloaded photo that you just downloaded, release, and the moment of truth. Voila! and you have your banner right here. And if you wanna see what it looks like from the classes display, it's right there and it looks so pretty. I hope this helped you in creating your own Google Classroom banner. Share this tutorial with your friends so that they can know how to create a banner too. Bye.